Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on Photoshop. I'll be showing you how to create a nice offer box web 2 effect and which would look really nice to use on websites or advertisements. So let's get started. I'm gonna create a new layer. I'll be working on this page itself, it's already and set with my colors. Okay, I'm creating a new layer and select rounded rectangle tool here. Make sure you have your radius set to I think around 10 pixels would be good. 10, 11, something close. Okay, and let's just draw in an offer box. That's the size I want, not square. Okay, let's bring this right down here. Okay, once on this side. Alright, now what I'm going to do is duplicate this layer. So, Control J, and I'm going to transform this. So, I'm going to zoom in here. Not that much, just a bit. Okay, and Control T to transform. I'm going to just size this inwards, holding my Alt key. So, I'm going to size in proportionally on the left and the right side. And on the top of it, there you go. Click on the checkbox to apply that. Now, what I'm going to do is add a color for this inside. So, double clicking on my above layer, the one I just resized, select gradient overlay, and we'll use radial. And I think I'll use another blue. Yeah, I think I'll use the same one. Make sure you have a scale set to full so that. It's easy and you can just drag and modify adjust this part. I'm just gonna give a light from the top there. There we go. Click on OK. Zoom back here again. Okay, once you have that done, let's add a shadow on the right side of this curve here. So selecting my behind white border here. I'm gonna double click on that and add a drop shadow. I'm just gonna click and drag with the drop shadow checked so that I move that and lower this opacity a bit just a bit just a small touch there okay once you have that then i'm going to add some frames inside my offer box here so that it looks like it's an offer so let's create a new layer again i'm going to use the rectangle tool I'm going to zoom in here again and i'm going to draw a thin outline here just a slight okay once you have that let's draw another one right there okay as like a nice out frame border there. Okay, once you have that, I'm going to just draw a sticker right on top of this to look and have the feel of an offer look. So I'm going to just draw one, another rectangle, make sure it's still in white, and let's convert that to a smart filter. So click on OK, Control T to transform, and select wrap. I'm going to just give a nice paper right bend look here just bring these edges right down just a bit don't do too much okay click on checkbox and here once you have that control T to transform it's going to turn this a bit here just to show it as it's kind of label stuck on it there we go i'm going to take this right in the back that's um, kind of look weird okay once you have that close the capacity i guess yeah, something like that. Okay, and let's slow things matches up. I'm gonna just fade off the corner edges there. So with that layer selected, I'm gonna click on my mask, select my brush and soft hardness, and let's add a size here and just gonna brush up the top parts there. The corner edges, I mean, just so that it has a feel of a press type, you know, like a sticker kind of okay just a bit a little more there we go once you have that let's duplicate the same thing right on the corner of this edge here so control j to duplicate that i'm just going to drag this right down here just a bit i'm going to even add some shadows on this inner portion here so that it feels just a few clicks here and once you have that, I'm going to type in something in here. So we don't want our offer box completely empty. Okay, click in here. I'm going to type in best, let's type that in caps, best offers. And I'm going to lower that 
size I'm gonna make that a bit nice and bold and place it right on side here let's close that a bit smaller adjust just adjust it according to your needs okay and you can type in some random text here for now I'm just gonna type in We don't want everything very bold and fat to make a web to look here. Okay, so making them nice and small. We just place in the text right here and just make them spaced out. Rather join these guys a bit. Something like that. Okay, and let's add a shine. Web2 is always really good in making these shine so let's make a new layer i'm sure it's selecting my inner box here control clicking on my inner make sure you rename your layers here let's call this outer frame inner background and what is this is our top frame you can call this top sticker bottom sticker you could really adjust those for this i'm not really going to do that Control click on my inner background and make a new layer. I'm gonna add a shine so with my pen tool selected, click and drag in here and another drag right here. Alt click on my last point, go all the way to the first point, right click, make selection and select subtract from selection. Once you have that done, let's switch to our gradient tool and white to transparent of course. Be linear, make sure you are in the new layer. Just gonna call that inner shine and I'm gonna click and drag inwards oops again that reverse okay there you go you can turn that blending options back to overlay or soft light if you really like there you are nice web to offer box you could just select all your layers here control G to group and there you go a nice movable offer box with nice web to look I hope you learned something from this and you could even make copies and make different colors by just I'm going to transform this and then make another copy here you can see we have more more options and flexible to modify you could even change our colors here with one click so I'm, I'm going back to my blending options of my inner really here and you can even change your color A simple and easy way to make your own of a box for your own personal website or a graphic thanks for watching and see you in the next video